Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad and uh, in today's video we're gonna check into the 11th of September uh, 2022 and uh, what the day has in store for all of us through the eyes of Tarot that is, that is how we are gonna check it on. So uh, if you are interested into having a personal reading with me, you can always go to my website, uh, which link you are going to find in the description down below. And if you do enjoy the content of the channel, uh, subscribe for it for more content and to be um, in tune or rather like uh, notified, I'm sorry, about when I am going live. Uh, and to help with the YouTube channel, you can, uh, with the YouTube algorithm, I'm sorry, you can uh, leave a like as well on the video. So with that said, uh, let's check on what kind of a uh, day is in front of us. So we do have the Six of uh, Pentacles, which is the first one. It's a little bit, th these cards are a little bit brighter than I would like. And it's kind of like, you can't really grasp the texture on the camera, the texture, I'm sorry, which uh, the camera shows, but six of uh, pentacles, it is the first one. Uh, second card, uh, that will be the queen of wands here. And the third card of the day, uh, that would be the hermit for what it seems. Yeah, it's the hermit. So uh, this is how today's spread kind of like sits those three cards well it's a cool day uh, for what we can say from the cards so what is going to be the main uh, the main course of the day uh, that will be that uh, we are to reflect some old problems which uh, which problems we didn't want it to bother with up until this point it's just they were kind of like either neglected or we neglected them we just set aside because I don't know for certain reasons well me personally i do that when i hope that these problems either are going to be resolved on their own accord or someone is going to show up that is going to deal with them for me unfortunately uh, a realization is going to settle in in uh, sunday that that is not happening for a reason being it is that there are that nobody is capable of doing it for us and so no matter how annoyed we are that we have to tackle with those plights let's call them plights uh, the time in Sunday is going to come about uh, which those plights needs to be taken care of uh, primarily they should reflect or rather like they should uh, manifest the plights I mean into our mundane uh, mundane experiences chores uh, patterns day-to-day -day routines and so on and so forth so it's, it's not going to be a big deal to deal with them it is just we or at least in most cases didn't bother doing it up until this point because i don't know some would have considered it wasted resources other would have, others would have considered it being wasted a time and so on and so forth but again those plights and those problems um and again problems quote in quote um nobody can solve them for us and i will give you right away on an example of uh, such a problem it is a problem when you like someone but you don't want to embarrass yourself saying them that you like them or you love them even uh, for a fear of denial well nobody can do it instead of you okay nobody can tell that person that you love them i mean they can but it's not going to have the same effect and the problem still stands in fact in those cases in my experience that causes even more issues because then in the eyes of the one you love you look like a coward so uh yeah that's a that's a day where we have to be a little bit more braver than uh, than we usually are or a little bit more tenacious and determined to kind of like sort things out than we usually are uh there is the resolution of these issues is gonna open up a path now for some this path is gonna be a huge one for others, it's just going to be some kind of a pathway or, or uh, how do you call it, that these um, 
very seldom used parts in the mountain that is just figuratively speaking it's like for some people that's going to be a huge clearance for others it's going to be a petite one but nonetheless a clearance uh, that uh, instead of having a troublesome enterprises to deal with now we can fill up that clearance with uh, something very important that we can do okay what important that is up to you to find out uh, importance is very uh, relative and for me one thing is important for you whom, you, whom is watching another thing is important so you can definitely feel, uh, fill up that clearance with what is important to you but the advice of the cards when you are in a process of doing it so it is that to withdraw from the ideas of the world and others this the choice what is important it needs to come from within instead of you being told what is important right and and that is a very common issue for example uh in parental in, uh, relationships where the parents think that they know what is important for their child and although their child doesn't want to do it the parents insist and that is how potentials pretty much are missed at least in my in my view in fact i do have a such a thing in my childhood it was from my grandmother's side thankfully um my father uh didn't allow that to happen but it, it was kind of crazy so um as far as the queen of wands sits into uh, on the other side of the six of pentacles it's a pretty interesting elemental dignity guys and uh, that could relate to some kind of a new standpoint or a new position in regards to what you think about stuff is going to take place or straight away that is going to be how the situation will, will unfold but what those two cards really preach it is that at that point you're going to stop caring what kind of an expectations people have well it's not exactly that how do i explain this um it's like people have certain expectations right when it comes to either they expect you to do certain stuff at work or within your friendship and so on and so forth and it's not like you're not gonna even try you know to live up to the expectations of the people who are important to you but if these people cannot cut you any slack then probably it's not worth living up to those expectations i mean yeah it's uh, you, you can you can put yourself into their shoes and see why they do have those expectations but as well these people need to put themselves into your shoes and see what is acceptable and appropriate from your stand uh, from your point of view and uh i'm saying that because it's not excluded that within uh sunday uh 11th of september certain friendships or interactions to abruptly cease that is because two parties being you and the other person realize that it is just you're never going to meet the expectations of the relationship they expect from you something different than what you are willing to give and it is just it's never going to work out uh, and uh, there will be no harm done in it i mean it doesn't look like that any of you guys is going to suffer uh, the the mindset is going to be well at least we tried we gave what we could it didn't work out so we're just going to uh, we're just gonna move on it's not a um, it's not a great day uh, where you should kind of like uh, try to impress someone at all cost of course you can try but not at all cost once again you do what is appropriate to you uh, and to your understanding and if it isn't working out then just leave it uh leave it be but definitely uh sunday that's gonna be a day where we where we will make our life a little bit more significant uh, a little bit more essential a little bit more important a little bit more harmonious than when we when we picked it up in uh, saturday and with that said that was the daily tarot uh, reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like the guys and we're going to see each other next time until then bye